on examining the ellingham's diagram for zinc and carbon one is able to understand that zinc is having the oxide with a value around about negative 600 kilojoules per mole whereas that of carbon is around about negative 350 kilojoules per mole have a closer look at the ellingham's diagram drawn here you find that zinc is having a lower line compared to that of carbon monoxide and carbon at low temperatures but at high temperature you find that zinc is the upper line compared to that of carbon with a result you find that carbon can act as a reducing agent for zinc oxide at a temperature above 1000 to 70 kilojoules so carbon is an effective reducing agent for zinc oxide